Hello, and welcome back. I'm Christy, the voice behind Crafty Christy's Creation Silhouette Studio Tutorials, which is a subset of Crafty Christy's Creations how-to videos. This is the place to find step-by-step -step directions on how to do all the things in Silhouette Studio. Whether you're a beginner or needing a little refresher, this is the place for you. So grab your computer and open Silhouette Studio. It's time to dive into another episode. Today I'm going to show you how to make address labels in Silhouette Studio. As you can see, I'm starting off with a regular letter size media because this is going to be a print and cut design. And I like my transparency at about 30% because then I like to see the grids underneath. So transparency means all the way up, your paper is invisible, and all the way to zero, your paper is solid. Again, I like to keep mine about 30% just so I can see through to the mat. And I went ahead and turned on my print border just to make sure that everything I'm doing stays within my printer's capabilities. I'm going to turn on the registration marks. I like to turn those all the way down so I get to use as much of the paper as possible. This may mean we'll have to manually register the registration marks when we go to cut, and I'll walk you through that process. Now we're gonna grab the drawing tool and we're gonna make a rectangle. And your standard address label is 1.75 inches wide by 0 0.5 inches tall. Once I have that completed, I'm going to go to my library and choose the design that I want for this. A note about the library. Make sure that you have these designs backed up to your hard drive. Uh, people have had issues in the past with updates and their complete library has disappeared. So you can click and drag your design over to your artboard. Otherwise, if you double click the design, it will open up on a new page. And now I'm going to leave the aspect ratio locked so my image stays proportional. And I'm going to make it 0.35 inches tall. That way it'll fit within my rectangle and have space around until it hits the cut border. So that red rectangle is our cut border. I'm going to go ahead and center that align middle so it's centered up and down within the rectangle. And the next thing I'm going to do is grab the type tool and I'm going to use 11 point font. And I like honey script. It's a nice fancy font, but still legible. And I'm going to go ahead and put in my address. And I'm going to go ahead and type out all three lines now and then we can adjust it later. Now I'm gonna fill it in with some color. And the thing about this, because that rectangle is your cut line, you want to make sure that any other line colors you choose are different color from that rectangle. And you can see here I'm adding a point to the line and that's a good way you can thicken up the line and make it look bold because not every font has the option for bold. So when I go to put that inside of my rectangle, it doesn't quite fit. So I'm going to open my, uh, my text style panel and I'm going to work on the line spacing. You can decrease it to smudge the lines together and increase it to space them further apart. But you do have to be clicked on the item that you want to adjust to make this work. So as you can see, as I click down, the lines get closer together. And I want to make sure they're still legible, but that it fits within my area. When you have the design where you want it, Go ahead and group everything together. You can do that by either clicking and dragging over each item 
or you can go uh, you can click on one piece hold down shift and click on each individual piece and I'm just making sure that everything is aligned middle and then I'm going to group everything together again once you have everything selected you can right click and hit group or you can go up to the top and hit the group icon this makes sure that your design does not move all the pieces don't move as you move your design around and now I'm going to get it placed on my paper I'm going to rotate the object so that way I can line it up and can fit more on a page. So I'm going up to the object, rotate, and I'm going to rotate clockwise 90 degrees. So the thing with the print and cut, the area that has all the X's, nothing can be in that area. It will not cut it. And you also need to be not on the registration mark itself. So I'm trying to give an extra little room around those areas. And then I'm going to go to the replicate tab and I'm going to make a complete row across. And then I'm also going to make a row down and fill the entire page. Now, I do it this way instead of hitting fill page because I find that hitting fill page leaves a lot of open gaps and you actually waste a lot of paper. I'm going to grab the design one more time and I'm going to rotate it back the correct way. Again, rotate. Now I'm going to do counterclockwise and I'm going to fit just a few more in there just to really get my money's worth on this sheet of sticker paper. So again, I'm going to replicate below and I like the replicate because it also shares one of the cut lines. So you're actually going to be cutting less. And then I'm going to uh, replicate those to the side as well to finish out my board. Now that everything is on and looks good, you've got the spacing correct. We can go ahead and send to the printer. You've got this nice little send to printer button. You want this to match up with what's on the screen. So this needs to be in the upper left corner. This needs to be in the bottom left corner. I'm gonna put that on my mat here, the correct direction. Mat. Now that I have my mat loaded, it's time to go to the send panel and get ready for cutting. And as you can see, when you first pull it up under simple, everything is red. So like I was saying, you want to go to the line, unclick any other color so that just the red outer box is selected. And that will only cut around the edge of your design. Make sure you've got the correct settings and go ahead and hit send. Now we will have to manually register this. And in order to do that, we will be using the arrows here and we'll be also clicking. It'll tell you manual or auto and we'll click manual and use those arrows to adjust where it goes. As you can see here, I am manually doing the registration marks using the arrows and I'm trying to get the laser over the registration mark. Once it reads this one, it will automatically scroll down and read the left bottom corner and then scroll up to the right top corner to read that one as well. Once it has read all three, it will go ahead and start cutting. And that my friends is how you make address labels using Silhouette Studio. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this tutorial valuable. If you did, click like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future Silhouette Studio tutorials. If you are interested in purchasing the design used in this video, 
check out the link in the description below. Happy silhouetting! Until next time, with love, Crafty Christie.